Behind me right here is a production VW ID4 battery electric vehicle. It's basically a small crossover for five people and this has all-wheel drive. So what am I doing here in the snowy field in the upper peninsula of Michigan? Well, I'm here with Magna. Magna is basically a systems and component engineering company and they provide components for many vehicles, including this. So this has a rear motor, electric motor, and the front electric motor. And the front electric motor system is provided by Magna. So when you're buying an all-wheel drive ID4, uh, I'm going to show you exactly how it behaves in the snow because they say um, it, it's quick to decouple or couple to give you all-wheel drive or more efficiency uh, by decoupling and uh, but also provide traction. So let's see how that works on a snowy field uh, with a little bit of drifting and snow driving. As you can see right here, it's an all-wheel drive Pro S and it has a Magna sticker because this is a Magna demonstration here at this facility way north next to the Canada border and you can see right there ID4 you've seen this vehicle we've tested it at TFL before and this is a little behind the scenes look at actually what manufacturers do and how they manage and develop these systems so let me get in and I can also talk to Will one of the engineers on this program so you do have to go into the screen to go ESC Sport I wish there was a separate button. Yeah, somewhere. it's in the infotainment system. Yeah. Can you please introduce yourself really quick? Yep, my name is William Laurie. I'm a four-wheel drive vehicle calibration engineer for Magna. I typically work on our uh, programs that require an all-wheel drive uh, base application for our end customers. And you worked on this, uh, well, partially on this because the front electric motor is provided by you guys. Yeah, so Magna does provide the front axle for this. Uh, we do all of the motor and inverter controls in the house. Um, a lot of the vehicle dynamics are controlled by are controlled by Volkswagen um, themselves. Yeah. Uh, however, uh, we have provided this system at uh, or for Volkswagen uh, for that purpose. So I'm going to put it in drive. So this is an all-wheel drive system, correct? So it's it's fully, it's always active. Yeah, absolutely. We have the ability to control torque to the front and rear motors. Yeah. Um, and provide that all-wheel drive capability and feeling to the customer at any given point. So ESC Sport, so stability control system here, uh, you can leave it just engaged, right? You can make it a little bit more fun. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You can disable their traction control and allow stability control to relax. Uh, allowing the driver to uh, okay. swing the rear out, just kind of like what you're doing right now. And then, of course, this allows you to, you know, climb grades, uh, you know, get out of a sticky situation, right? Be it on snow or, or slick surface. Yeah, the capability of being able to provide traction to either axle or both axles at the same time really gives the end user the ability to uh, accelerate the vehicle and propel it in any given driving scenario. All right, so this is kind of a circle, and there's also a handling course over there. So let's get, get, get over there and check it out. Absolutely. Blue Volkswagen and home South Animal Cruise. That's us. <laughs> so people may not understand. I mean, Magna is a huge company. Uh, and what I think they told me in the morning, 158,000 employees. Yeah, across the world. Yeah, that's, that's, that's mega. And, and for example, if you're driving a, a Jeep Wrangler, Rubicon, for example, mm -hmm. Magna supplies a transfer case, and you know some other components and many other vehicles. So yeah, absolutely. So it's kind of be, it's behind the scenes, but it's doing its thing. Yeah, yeah. Magna is, is a big proponent of the four-wheel drive industry. And we provide a lot of different uh, services and functions, as well as parts to many different OEMs. Ooh, did you say <laughs> uh, don't get stuck in the snowbank, or is I that, did. What, what, what that was that what you were saying? That, the, right? the goal is not to be stuck in the snowbank. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to make it a little bit more fun and and I can tell it's letting me slide it a little bit. And of course, it depends on tires, everything else as well. And and VW, but VW controls, you know, some of the systems that are sitting on top of it, right? Yeah, that is correct. Um, but by providing that all-wheel drive system functionality, you can, you can give the end customer and the end user the confidence and capability of uh, maybe driving a little more dynamically um, while doing it safer at the same time. I got, I got you, yeah. And this car is on sale. Ooh. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, current production vehicle um, that you yeah. can buy. Uh, and Magna would supply the electric motor, inverter, and gearbox for the front axle uh, for all the all-wheel drive versions of the MEB. Yeah, that's right. And I, I think they're probably going to be coming out with more mo uh, models in the future. And this is just only going to grow, right? Yeah, the electric industry in general is, is really taking off here. Um, it's awesome to be able to be a part of that and provide both, uh, you know, vehicle level controls as well as uh, parts and uh, electric axles to uh, help that industry and that side of the, uh, the industry grow even bigger. Yeah, so this was just a quick taste and I can definitely tell, you know, front wheels are helping me, especially, you know, when the rear end gets out of sorts, right? Yeah. Um, it helps me out. So thanks. Thank yeah, you. absolutely. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining me on this quick snowy drive in this all new all wheel drive ID4 VW. Come back right here to TFL EV channel for a lot more in-depth electric vehicle reviews and real world tests, including pickup trucks and of course, crossovers and cars as well and maybe even motorcycles who knows uh, ev bikes as well and of course check out tfltruck.com where i have some truck content and tfl-studios.com for all the latest automotive news views and real world reviews